Hey everyone, welcome back to Biotechnica. Myself Diksha from Biotechnica and today I shall be discussing top 5 best biotech institutions in Delhi for your masters in biotechnology. So if you are a graduate uh, in the field of biotechnology or life sciences and if you are looking for a master's opportunity in the field of biotechnology, especially for the students who belong to Delhi, especially for the students who want to preferably study in Delhi, this video is for them. So I will be listing top 5 best biotech colleges in the capital which is offering a very good MSc in biotechnology program. So here here we go and I shall be listing five top institutions. So stay tuned with the video and I hope you like this video at the end. So yeah guys, so we'll start with the first institution and the first one is GNU or Jawaharlal Nehru University. So who doesn't know about this university? We all know this is a very reputed university. So I shall be listing five parameters for every university and that will be the type of university, the eligibility for getting into the MSc Biotech program, the entrance examination that is being conducted for the intake of the MSc Biotech program, the fee structure that is there for the MSc Biotech program and the NIRF ranking that is very much important for the universities in India. Okay, So I will be enlisting three five parameters. If you want any addition of any parameters, do let me know. Okay, so. Jawaharlal Nehru uh, University is located in New Delhi. Since we are talking about the colleges in Delhi, I have not put any location. The, all the colleges are in Delhi only. So the type is, it's a central university. So GNU is a central university. It's a public central university. And the eligibility for getting into the MSc Biotech program is that you should have a bachelor degree under 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern. We will be meeting like horticulture, sericulture, life sciences, life sciences, natural sciences, physical sciences, chemical sciences says everything is okay or you can have a bachelor degree under 10 plus 2 plus 4 pattern like a BSc AG or like BA BTEC or you can have an MBBS BDS degree too and your mark should be in between 55 to 60 percent of range okay so the minimum eligibility is 55 percent of a percentage of marks should be there in the like graduation for you to get a eligibility in the field of masters in biotechnology at GNU okay now we are coming to the next section and that is Entrance exam. So the entrance exam that is being conducted, like the entrance exam that con like they conducts the intake for the MSc Biotechnology for GNU. So GNU doesn't conduct their own entrance exam for MSc Biotechnology. They take the students from Gate B. Okay. So graduate aptitude test in Biotechnology test is conducted every year by Regional Center for Biotechnology. And this day, uh, like uh, Gate B test is important. You have to qualify the Gate B test so that you can have a good rank and you can enter to the MSc Biotechnology program at JNU Jawaharlal Nehru University. Okay, now the fee structure. Guys, the fee structure is very less. It's a central university and the fee structure is very less here. It's very convenient for every student. It's almost 700 rupees approx per semester per year. You can, you can have a decent like look about the fee structure it's very less it's about 690 to 700 or like so and uh, like if you will calculate everything it will be range from 1400 rupees only so the fee structure is very less and gnu always to like tops in the nirf ranking so this year in 2022 they have got second rank in the university category so gnu has ranked second in the university category of the nirf ranking conducted by the ministry of MHRD department okay so uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University is the first university that I am putting here based on the the top five best biotech universities like biotech college university institution now the second one is Jamia Millia Islamia again Jamia Millia Islamia is also a central university the eligibility for getting into MSc biotech program is again you can have bachelor's degree under 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern similar to JNU bachelor's degree under 10 plus 2 plus 2 4 pattern similar to JNU MBBS radius and the same 55 to 60 percent of the qualification the entrance examination will be Jamia Millia Islamia entrance test okay so they will conduct their own entrance test there will be five six centers only so you go and have a look about the centers so the Jamia entrance test will be conducted and based on that only they will intake for the students for like for the 
students and members of biotechnology. Now the question will come over the seats also. So I haven't mentioned here, but Jamia Mila Islamia will have 30 seats intake. GNU also have 30 intake and it depends year by year. So for the seat, you can go to the website and you can check that how much intake they are taking. Because sometimes what they will do, they will take 15 from the All India program, 15 from their own entrance test. So you don't, uh, like we don't predict it. We can't predict it. So mostly they will have 30, 25, 30 seats only, not like more than that. Exceptional cases only. So the second one is Jamia Milia Islamia. They offer a very good MSc Biotech program. You can download the course prospectus that is available. The fee structure here is also low. It is approx 7,800 per year. And the ranking that has been given by the NIRF for Jamia Milia Islamia is third in the university category. All right. So the second one is Jamia Milia Islamia. Now the third one is South Asian University. Maybe you have heard less about this university because this is a newly established university but again it's a kind of a central university and it holds like a, a true companionship of four SAC countries. So that's why they will. this is a kind of international university where there is an intake of not only Indian students but also a student from the other South countries, all right? So here you will get an international exposure also and the eligibility is that you should have a degree in biological sciences, chemistry, agriculture or allied sciences. You should have a veterinary, allied science, biotechnology, biochemical technology, everything is okay. And you can be like, if you are making your South countries, like you can easily go apply and you can get like uh, the... Uh, like uh, get selected if you perform well in the entrance examination and 55% is a minimum qualification for your bachelor so that you can enter and send masters okay so this was about the eligibility of the South Asian University South Asian University con con like conducts their own entrance examination that is SAO entrance test South Asian University entrance test and the fee structure here is a bit high it's also because it's like an international university so they are like overlapping all the sub countries so the fee is is 68,682 for the, all the two years. So the total fee is 68,682 but this South Asian University will provide you a very good ambience for research and they have a really good faculty there and you will be getting an international exposure also so it is worth joining. So and the ranking here there is no NIRF ranking here because NIRF ranking is always meant for the Indian universities. South Asian University is not completely Indian University so country ranking here is 208 and uh, we can put like a country ranking here but since it is a newly established university it will be having a great exposure even if the, it is newly established because there would be a lot of dedication from the faculties and the laboratory facilities will also be good so now we are third university is South Asian University. For any insights or detail, you can refer to any student who is studying in South Asian University. You can go to the website and see the facilities, okay? Now, the fourth one is Delhi Technological University. Who doesn't know DCE, Delhi College of Engineering? That was a former name of Delhi Technological University. So it's a state engineering college that has been converted to University Delhi Technological University. So it is under the Delhi government. It's a state university, state engineering college, I would say, under the state authority. So the eligibility for getting into MSc Biotechnology program is that you should have a BSc, any gender or honors degree. You, you should have biology as one of the subjects. So even if you're having chemistry, physics, okay, biology should be one of the subject and you should be having minimum 50 to 60 percent of marks in the BSc, okay. Now, the entrance examination is DTU entrance examination. Again, DTU will conduct their own institutional entrance examination, but it is good for the students, especially who are from Delhi only, because if they have done their master's, like then sorry, done their senior secondary examination from Delhi, there is a reservation of seats for them. Okay. So if you are a student who have completed your 11th, like plus two from Delhi, it will be convenient for you to go to DTU because they will have a reservation for the students who have completed their 10 plus 2 from Delhi and that's why since it's a Delhi government there will be some reservation for those students okay so for the DTU and the state government will have some reservations so uh, since it's in Delhi and Delhi government have put some uh, like a reservation for the uh, students who have completed their like uh, schooling plus two schooling from Delhi so so as to like encourage their studies so as to encourage their like uh, 
intake they have given this much of relaxation which is really good which is really like uh, um, good for the students who have completed their master's sorry uh, 10 plus 2 from Delhi so it's good for you guys it's a very great opportunity you can go to the TU you can give the interest examination and you can get selected also if you perform well all right so this is a great opportunity for you now the fee structure is 36,000 per year since it's an engineering college kind of they will have a good uh, like company exposure also but the fee will is 36,000 per year it's okay for any engineering college because accordingly you are getting the degree also really well okay now for the analytic ranking it is 36 rank overall so if you'll get into the analytic ranking it will be like university colleges uh, medical colleges MBA management colleges there would be classification and one will be overall ranking Okay, so for the overall ranking, they are getting 36 rank in all the Indian institutions that are mentioned in the NRAF database. Okay, so they have got 36 rank. Okay, now coming to the fifth one, University of Delhi. University of Delhi will not give you exact biotechnology course, MSc biotechnology course. But since I'm like we are talking about Delhi, we can't forget University of Delhi because it's a very reputed and a very famous institution, especially for the students. They find it very convenient because there are a lot of colleges and they are like very good. Like um, there, there is a range of North Campus and South Campus. Off Campus also is there. So University of Delhi has a huge like uh, net work uh, like in Delhi and so there is no MSc biotechnology day like uh, courses there but few of the most important courses and most famous courses there are like biochemistry plant and uh, plant uh, biology and biotechnology so plant molecular biology and biotechnology is the type of test like the type of uh, degree that is uh, offered by the MSc like for, for the University of Delhi by the University of Delhi so the like MSc biochemistry MSc genetics MSc plant molecular biology and biotechnology they have a they are good departments so even if you're searching for biotechnology you can go for these departments also because these departments are really good in University of Delhi and since we're talking about biotechnology I will be mentioning some like uh, alternate also because you know University of Delhi we can't forget okay so if you're interested in plant and you want to go for plant biotechnology if you're interested in biochemistry you can go for University of Delhi they will have separate merit for the students who are already enrolled in the like uh, bachelors and they're getting converted to masters and there will be separate merit based examination for the students who are outsiders and who want to get into the Delhi University okay so it's again a central university the eligibility is for the I'm mentioning here for especially the plant molecular biology and biotechnology division because it's a very good division it has 12 seats and they like they give a very good research facility in the field of plant sciences so for like plant biotechnology the, you should have bsc in plant sciences any other area of biological sciences or biotechnology are eligible you can also also have a physical or chemical science degree also you are eligible but biology should be as one of the subject the entrance examination is will be through the du entrance test that happens every year and then the fee structure for this is very less it is 3862 only but the thing is that they will be having 12 seats or 15 seats uh, like the last time it was updated 12 seats so among the 12 seats six would be for the students who are from delhi university only and they are getting in, into that uh, department of like plant biotechnology department of the north campus and six seats will also like will be only for the students who are outsiders and who want to get that position like they get that uh, course get the plant uh, molecular biology and biotechnology course so it's a bit competitive because you are having six seats to fight so for the outsiders so it's a bit competitive but it's worth joining all right and the NRI ranking we know that overall ranking for du this year and uh, the NRI ranking that i'm mentioning is for the 2022 so the 2022 and our ranking overall ranking for du is 23rd okay so this was about the five top institutions in delhi for pursuing your biotechnology course for pursuing your masters in biotechnology from 
uh, any reputed colleges in Delhi. So these were about the five top colleges in Delhi. From there, you can uh, like opt for MSc Biotechnology program. The like five best institutions, five best universities. I would say JNU, Jamia Millia Islamia, South Asian University, Delhi Technological University, University of Delhi. So guys, here I listed five top universities where you can go and pursue your MSc Biotechnology course. You have I have mentioned about the type, eligibility, fee structure, entrance examination, and allied ranking. If there is anything I forgot to mention and you want to know the details of any other thing, please mention in the comment box below. I'll be there to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.